I laid in jail for two weeks, praying I would die, because I was so sick. And I hate to tell you, in jail, they don't have a treatment plan. You're gonna go through withdrawals. And you know what, looking back on that, I'm glad I went through those withdrawals. Um, I know now I don't have another run. My next run's gonna kill me, flat out. And I've kind of grown attached to breathing and eating. And um, I'm actually, I'm so glad I, from where I was, I'm, I'm happier now than I've ever been. Um, I can actually see a light at the end of the tunnel. I have a, I have a mission, I have a goal. Nothing's gonna get in my way of that goal. I chase this recovery, I chase my goal like I chase my duck. And I wouldn't, I would do anything with duck. I would. Um, there, there was, I'd walk 20 miles and did just to get a little bag. It went so far, I was robbing, stealing, cheating. Um, it didn't matter. I was gonna get what I had to have. Since you've experienced this, there are people, the stigma is alive and well. Oh my gosh, they're an addict. Explain to me from your perspective what happens when you're in addiction? What is addiction for you, which to me, it's like it for everybody. I've heard enough stories, but for you, what is addiction? Make people understand why you can't stop. Because it seems easy to stop. It comes like breathing. It, it, this last run, um, I, I wanted out so bad before I got out and didn't know how. And knew I was spiraling. And, well, I say spiraling, I was sliding like on a slide that goes straight down so fast. But I couldn't stop. The, the fear of the sickness, the withdrawals. Um, the withdrawals are terrible. I've heard men in jail banging their heads up at the wall. It just kill me. I mean, literally banging their heads on the wall. Um, forget what you think an addict is. You'd be surprised. At the end of the day, it, tomorrow it may be your son. It may be your daughter. It ain't something we set out to be. It's something we turn out to be. I was in recovery with nurses, doctors, lawyers, judges, um, along with street people. But our common bond was the addiction. Talk about the word journey and how it applies to addiction. Um, you know, when I started using, I had no idea I was going to be an addict. Um, in fact, to be honest with you, the, what I thought was an addict was a bum. And I hate to use that word, but somebody that was homeless, didn't have no clothes, never washed. Um, that stigma was really changed when I got into recovery. And as I say this, I'm telling you this because that's my journey. Um, I had to go through what I went through to get to where I'm at. Um, Everybody has a bottom. Some are not as severe, and some are more severe. Um, fortunately, I come out of this with no bullet holes, no cuts, but where I started to where I am now is just one path. It's like being on a highway, and it's not straight. It has bends, it has turns. Um, there were times in my life before the heroin that I could, you know, I could make another decision and go down another road on that journey, but I didn't. I stayed on that one journey. Um, do I regret that journey? No. I'd do it again. And the reason being, the only thing I would change in that journey was the pain that I caused other people. And the reason I would do that, because it's going to make me the man I am, that I want to be. I've told you I, my ultimate goal is, you know, I want to change the world one life at a time. 